Today we are going to be looking at this Galway Pike 12 year old Grand Tawny Port. Hi, I'm Jo and this is Maximo and we are Tipples and Treats. So our tipple today is this one. Tell us about it Maximo. Thanks Jo. This one is a Galway Pipe Grand Tawny aged 12 year port. Hmm. So it's a port we're reviewing today. It is and uh, you can see that it's got heaps of gold medals so I'm looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shall I open it while you tell us a little bit more about it? Indeed I've got some notes. So this, uh, this particular Tawny port was named after the Governor of South Australia, Sir Henry Galway. He was the Governor of South Australia from uh, 1914 to 1920. And Governor Galway used to visit the, the, the winery and sample all the different uh, barrels of Tawny Port. And he used to uh, pick the best one and label that Galway Pipe because mm -hmm. the bar barrel, the, the nickname for a barrel was a pipe and that used to be served at a uh, government house, uh, a state government house. So the, um, this, this winery, uh, Yolumba, was founded in 1849, so mm -hmm. it's quite a, a rich history for Australia. Um, Yolumba is the oldest family owned winery in Australia. I'm pretty sure I've been to Yolumba. Yes, well, it's in the Barossa, Barossa yes. Valley in, yes. in South Australia. I went there about five or six years ago. I'm pretty sure that was one that I went to. Now, this particular uh, uh, tawny is around 18.5% alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of cost, it's about 36 Australian dollars. So mm -hmm. it's probably uh, high 20s uh, US mm -hmm. uh, and a bit less for um, mm -hmm. European and uh, mm -hmm. English people. Now let's uh, let's have a look at this. It's, it's quite um, it's quite dark, I would say. It's quite dark. Yeah, yeah. it's sort of a, a, a golden sort of mm. brown colour. Yeah. Um, let's have a. Uh, I, I I would usually expect uh, porch to be a little bit reddier than this, but it's uh, quite dark. It's probably uh, aged twelve years, so it's yeah, probably yeah. getting a lot of the uh, the, the colour from the wood, yeah. making it quite uh, quite mm. quite dark. Mm. Let's have a, uh, a sniff. Mm. Fruity. Mm, quite fruity, isn't it? Mm. I'm sort of, it's sort of raisiny. Mm. I'm going to dive in and taste. Mm. Sort of oaky. Mm, what do you think? Mm. That's lovely, actually. Uh, I do like that. Mmm. It's a very nice pot. Mmm. Very nice. It's quite um, sweet. The tasting notes say that, um, mm. that there's a high level of sweetness complemented by a relatively low pH and therefore um, a good level of fresh uh, acidity. Um, you can certainly tell it's been aged. It's, uh, it's quite a mellow... Uh, mellow flavour, mm. mm -hmm. um, quite quite fruity. It is it's, fruity. It's, yes. it's got just a hint of sort of um, spiciness. Mm. Yes, um, yes. Towards the end, quite a long finish, quite dry. It's 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 mm. it starts off quite sweet, but it, it, it finishes dry, which is yeah, strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's um, very drinkable. Mm. So, when do you like to drink port? Not not too often, or I uh, I enjoy a port on a cold winter's um, night. Mm -hmm. um, I also enjoy my port with strawberries. Ah, uh. so strawberries in port—that's uh, that's <laughs> certainly a favourite. Um, I dare say that this port is probably too good for mm. my port and strawberries, mm. but. Um, 
it, it could be argued that one should always start off with good quality ingredients being both strawberries and pork. Well, they do say when you're cooking with wine, only use wine in your cooking that you would actually drink, don't chuck the cheap stuff in it. I see. Is that, is that, that's been my problem all along, has it? <laughs> Um, this is quite a big uh, winery. It's got a number of uh, vineyards um, in South Australia. Um, they have um, cellar door opening, so if you're ever in South Australia, you can actually go visit. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a restaurant there. I'm not 100% certain about that. I'd have to check, but um, if it's the place that I'm thinking of, um, I, I think I have a very nice lunch there. Mm. As you can do at many of the wineries in South Australia. There's many, many wineries and hopefully um, in the future we'll be reviewing some yes. uh, other um, tipples, tipples from, from South Australia. That, that is my, well, my I, I hope we'll be reviewing tipples in, at, in, South, in Australia. South Australia That's right. yeah, at the various um, establishments that make all in, these indeed. lovely tipples. Indeed. All we need is to be allowed to get into South Australia so we can, uh, <laughs> we can review the wines. It's very, very drinkable. Mm. It is very nice. So, um, port always reminds me of my mum. She, she used to have a port and lemon. And lemon? Yes. I don't think I've ever had port and lemon. Port, port and lemonade. Mmm. Yes. Christmas only. <laughs> she wasn't much of a drink. It must be, uh, must be an English thing. Maybe it is. Mm. Maybe it is. Well, this will be very enjoyable. Oh, yes, it's very nice. Indeed. Recommend and on that note, mm. cheers. cheers.